Uh, welcome to Ricketts Reef DIY How To Number Two. In this one, we're going to talk about uh, making a spout for the whirly bird that we made in part one. Um, here's a little close-up of the one I made. It took a couple tries to get one that I like the look of, but that's pretty much it. Um, you'll notice mine kind of stops and starts a little bit. That's because the power heads are blowing right on it and it stops from going so that's not a normal occurrence anyway let's go show you how to make one of those all right now this is what you're going to need to complete this section of the project you're going to need your dremel you're going to need just a simple plumber's torch these are a couple bucks at any hardware store a length of half inch pvc a pair of pliers and your whirly bird there that we made from the last one okay so what we'll do first is take your plumber's torch, take your length of PVC, you see this one I was already messing around with, we'll do one on this side, and get your blowtorch going. Let's see. Oh, and a lighter. You got your blow torch. Now, you don't want to hold it on PVC because PVC, unlike copper piping, will catch fire and stink and all sorts of stuff. So you want to be quick. Now, you want to make it, you want to get it hot uh, somewhere in the middle. You don't want to do it on the end really because you're not going to get a good cool bend. You want it somewhere in the middle so you can bend two sides there and say there. So we're just going to put that in the flame, keep turning it kind of like you're roasting a pig now you'll see it caught fire there that's okay um, try not to do that but if you're gonna paint it it really doesn't matter see I sprayed spray painted mine so you can't even see the uh, little charred bits but if you're gonna keep it white I highly suggest go really really quick turns Okay, so this doesn't take long to heat up. I can actually probably start bending this now. Um, let's try. It's still not warm enough. That's the only thing with uh, doing DIY projects is you kind of need the tools. If you don't have the tools, then DIY can get fairly expensive. Um, so if you can borrow tools, that's great. If you have a friend or a family member that's got a nice shop and you've got a DIY project and you don't have the tools yourself, then you know, see if you can borrow some of their time in their, in their shop. Okay, so what we got now is we got this. So you want to make, you want to make a curve. If you heat it up more, you can, uh, you can actually pull it. It stretches and that makes an even better bend. Um, but for this, I'm just going to do kind of a, a ghetto bend. Now, you'll find when you bend it, it's going to want to flip back. So, if you've got a little container of water, just bend it, dip it in the water, and it'll instantly cool down, and it'll instantly cause the shape that you want. I still don't like this shape, so I'm going to work on it a little bit more. what had happened is I didn't make a big enough section to get a, a wide enough bend or sorry I didn't heat up a big enough section to make a wide enough bend Okay, since I didn't have a bucket of water, I'm just going to step over to the sink and cool this down. There we go. Turn the blowtorch off. And now we need our faithful Dremel. 
Okay, now it's time to cut our pipe. Um, if you notice in the last video, I actually sit down, cross my legs, and I stick the Dremel in my legs, and I hold it with my legs and turn it on, and I kind of use the piece instead of the bit to do the cutting. Um, I find it's more precision that way, and it's a, it's a little easier. So, and it's a, it's a little safer because your fingers aren't going near the bit. Um, I'm going to just cut this now. First cut is cutting it in the center. Okay, so, here's this piece. Now you see, you've got a piece of PVC with, uh, oops, with a curve in it, and that's what's gonna push your water. That's what's going to give you your thing, but it's not going to do a very good job right yet. What you want to do is you want to kind of make a little scoop here so you can get a, even a bigger fin up here. Um, again, we'll just do this with the Dremel. And there it is, it's that simple. Now you've got a piece that when the water comes down here, it's gonna hit this lip and it's gonna push it so it goes around and around. Um, you can play with this, yeah, you can change the design a bit to give you a bigger lip so you can have a faster spin, uh, a bigger hole, a smaller hole, smaller hole you'll get a, a more intense spin, a bigger hole it'll be a little more subdued. Um, and then of course you can cut it to size to fit how much room you have in your tank like my my uh, outlets are only about, oh, about yay big because I don't have much room between the whirly bird and the tank wall so that's kind of how it goes put it on the end like so and this will spin I hope you enjoyed I hope this explains the rest of the process of making a whirly bird um, again, if you burn it, I highly suggest you paint it. It'll cover over with Coraline eventually anyway, but it's always nice at the beginning to have it painted. Anyway, take care.